Good morning, Route Nation. We're here to show you our exciting new feature, our estimator tool. It has been designed to make sure that you get the most out of every job. We've taken all things into consideration to make sure that your company is as profitable as possible. Let's take a look. Now, when you select estimates, you get two options to create a new estimate. The first of which is to use a completed walkthrough, which we always recommend. And then the second is to select services, which essentially allows you to create one from scratch. Let's go ahead and use a completed walkthrough. We'll get a drop down of all, all of our completed walkthroughs. We'll go ahead and select the top one, which is essentially our latest one. And then we'll go ahead and hit next. The first thing I want to cover is your charge method. Now we have three different categories within this drop down. The first of which is charging your client by man hour. So this would essentially be your hourly rate. The second of which is your fixed rate, which is a charge by square footage. And then the third is by fixture. Now the second category right below that is your job frequency, whether that is a daily job, uh, weekly, bi-weekly, whatever the case may be, you want to go ahead and input the frequency of the actual job. The third category that we've highlighted is your labor cost. Now you can select it by day, shift, month, week, etc. Right? How often are you repeating these labor costs? Below that, you'll see your total man hours, right? But if you do not know what it'll actually take to complete this new space, what you can do is you can select the calculate button right above that, which will then populate all the information from your walkthrough, and then you can add in your production rate in order for it to calculate for you. That'll automatically be input into this field, which will then allow you to go to the next step. This here is where you go ahead and add in your hourly pay. Now, this is what you're paying your laborers, whether that is $13 an hour, $15 an hour, heck, $20 an hour, whatever that dollar amount is, you go ahead and plug that in. Below that is by far one of the most important aspects to this labor cost. This is where you wanna go ahead and add in your FICA, your SUDA, your GNL, workers comp, whatever your overhead cost is, you wanna go ahead and add that in under other labor cost, right? Do not forget this, because this is essentially what's gonna help you scale your organization and help you make more money, right? Below that is our fourth category. This is where you go ahead and add in your supplies, your materials, and your equipment. Now, this is all based on a monthly basis, right? So whether your cleaning supply is $100, 200 or 300 whatever that number is, you wanna go ahead and add that in because that is billable to your client. Now, you also do have one-time costs. Now, these would be considered, say, your equipment setup cost, right? Again, this is all billable to your client, so you wanna go ahead and take that in consideration. Again, $100, 200 300 whatever that number is, go ahead and add that in there. Now, if you're managing your paper, the paper products for your clients, you wanna go ahead and add that in under reoccurring cost, and then you could always tack on a percentage that you wanted to make on top of your cost in order for you to become profitable in that field as well. The last category is your charges. This is essentially what you want to charge your client, whether that is based on hourly, or margin based. So margin based is what you wanna tack on on top of your labor cost. So if your labor cost is $20 an hour, what you're paying your laborers, you could always add in a 20%, 30%, 40% on top of that, and that is essentially what you're charging your clients. But again, we do have that second option where you can charge them based on the hours, right? So if you're paying your laborers $15 an hour and you wanna charge your client 32, you could absolutely add that in there. Now, once we have populated all these fields and we have all of our costs down, what you'll notice is on the right-hand side, you'll get your cost breakdown, which is the charges, your cost, and then your profit margin. Right below that, you'll get your one-year billings and then your one-year projection, right? This will allow you to see how profitable this account will be over the period of two months, three months, up to a year, and gauge how much you'll grow just based on this one account. We're excited to get this in the hands of all commercial cleaning companies. We know that this is a game changer that will help you become that much more profitable. Stay tuned for any updates, and I'll see you in the next video.